I am just eating a bedtime snack before Sanai and I head to bed. She's sleeping in her little lounger, but I definitely need a snack before I go to sleep because I will wake up hungry because the breastfeeding the breastfeeding cravings are real. So I'm having me a good old bowl of oatmeal. Nice old people food. <laughs> <laughs> hey friendship Larisha is a Larisha or Larisha Chelsea from Asia Brandy Tracy hey how are y'all tonight how are y'all how are y'all doing I feel like I haven't talked with y'all in a while I feel like I haven't went live in forever um hey Melissa meet the teats meet the teats Hey Chantel, hey Linda, hey Black Rose, how are you? I'm good. It's my first time catching you live. I I look like a ragamuffin, y'all. Y'all see my new hair color? A lot of people used to think that this was my actual hair color because I actually used to be like I used to dye my hair this color, um, like a lot, like. Every time my roots would come in, I would just read that, you know, touch it up. But so funny, you actually have a bedtime snack. Yes, I have a bedtime snack. I eat, I eat like five to six times a day. And this snack is one of those five to six. Mm. Friend Shosa, we want to thank you for your inspiration. Oh, I'll thank you. Aw, yay. That's a, that is a blessing. Thank you, Tracy. Thanks, Black Girls. Yeah, I love this color. Um, I just have to, right now, my hair needs to be washed and it needs to be styled. It is real. I, I put shea moisture, or not shea moisture, I put shea butter in it and just twisted it up because the workouts have been real. <laughs> The workouts have been real. Um, the the thing about my workouts that I'm doing right now, and yes, I am working out already. <laughs> We're in week five postpartum. Yeah, postpartum week five. And actually, my group is starting a new program. So we start next week, August 3rd. So not this week, but next week. And the sweat is real. I'm not sure if it's because I'm breastfeeding or what's going on. But like I feel whenever I even when I'm walking outside, even though it's hot outside, but when I'm walking outside, I'm drenched, right? I'm drenched in sweat. And I never used to sweat. Let me take off my glasses and I can glare. Um yeah. I haven't I have not seen myself without glasses in a while, but um, it is like rivers <laughs> are flowing out of me. Um, I was about to quote, quote a scripture, <laughs> but it's like rivers flowing out of my pores. That's how like much I've been sweating lately. And I posted a transformation pic on Instagram, like a couple of me on Tuesday, last Tuesday. And I just keep looking back at it like, wow. And this was without me working out. So the transformation was real. Just with eating right, eating my five to six meals a day and, and breastfeeding. Now I got I to struggle to read this because of my classes. <laughs> um, Asia, yeah, it's been a while since I went live. Oh, thank you, Asia. Yeah, I love, I love, love, love talking with you all on um, Instagram. So if you DM me, if you DM'd me during the time where I was having Sanai, like either like that whole week, your DMs probably got lost if I did not reply because I usually reply to everybody. The only people I don't reply to are those like bots, those people like that. It's like they... They will, what are they asking? They'll, they'll ask like, oh, I see you have a YouTube channel. Do you want us to make your thumbnails? No, I can make my own thumbnails. <laughs> but um, 
those are kind of like, those are really the only ones I don't respond to. But if you've been in my DMs, you probably uh, know that I respond. Um, but like I said, if you said anything during that time where I was having Sinai, I got to a lot of them, but there were a lot. There were so many. And I thank you guys. Thank you all for the congratulations. Nothing wrong with a snack. Mm -mm. Cause I'm trying to look like a snack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love your channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you from Melissa. Be sure you're staying hydrated. Girl, brought her. Got my water. And this is never usually this clear. I usually, I'm, I don't put Kool-Aid packets in it, but y'all know them like Crystal Light packets? I put the dollar store version of Crystal Light, like the cheaper version of Crystal Light into my water daily because I cannot drink plain water, but I fill up my water bottle with plain water at nighttime, at nighttime, because once your girl brushes her teeth, we don't want all that, we don't want all of that, you know, extra stuff on the teeth when we wake up. Um, it's been hot, sweating so bad yesterday. Yes. I'm just sweating, sitting here, y'all. I'm sweating, sitting here and to be honest, like I, I usually don't walk around like in the house. It's hot, and when you are breastfeeding, like there's no point in you having a shirt on. And everybody who live here, you know, has seen it all. <laughs> Just being honest. <laughs> mm. So I'm not about that, that life, that sweat life. But I like the heat for some reason. But I, I'm not about this, like. This new, this sweating is new to me. <laughs> Welcome to the live stream. Oh, that's Mo uh, Melissa. Meet the teats. Thank you, meet the teats. Hey, Erica. I'm just DMing Erica. I was just talking to you um, on Instagram. Let's see. Hey, Trina. A lot of you are on. Y'all don't have bedtimes. <laughs> Hey, April. And thank you. Yeah. Um, she said, I love the name Sanai. Thanks. Yeah, Melissa, I can't do plain Jane water. I'm going to do it right now. But hey, Amanda, staying kingdom minded. You're on late, sis. I know you, you get up early and post your YouTube videos at like four in the morning. I can't. <laughs> when I wake up, I know that Amanda is saying to mind it. Her YouTube channel is going to have a great devotional for me in the morning. <laughs> I just can't. I can't. Um, I can't post that early, y'all. Um, tell me about it. Too hot for a shirt, girl. Breastfeeding on lock. Yes. Um, yeah. When you when babies start crying, you got to be ready. I know when. Um, like I get out the shower, and if Sana is crying they're ready she's ready so we got to go <laughs> we can't have any distractions or any barriers <laughs> um tracy yeah i'm actually i am from michigan i am from ypsilanti michigan but i currently live in indiana in the middle of the woods indiana um with my husband he is from here from indiana so that's why i moved here Louisa, walking free. <laughs> Sun is still so and reaching. Yeah, it's funny because Ava will see me feeding Sanai. You know, Ava is sixteen months. She'll see me feeding Sanai, and it'll like if I don't have the hock on, or even if I do have the hock on, you know, the other one will drip. Um, like you know, it'll start to leak, and she goes like this. <laughs> she's like so surprised and I don't think she's actually caught on I have actually been giving her breast milk like one sippy cup of breast milk a day but I don't think she's actually caught on that it's like that it's like what's in her cup is actually coming from me I don't know because she hasn't like pulled down my shirt and wanted to like latch on so <laughs> Krista, you, you're waiting for your baby to wake up and come to bed? <laughs> Let that baby sleep. Or where's the baby at? Hopefully the baby's in their own room. 
And Erica, Erica's filling out her MBF prep week. Yes. Yes. So we started, um, we're starting a, our prep week this week and Erica's in my group. So we're starting prep week this week for our faith and fitness group. And I'm excited. They, I put together this whole course for all of my ladies to go through um, so that they can get all the information that they need, and, you know, um, learn about, you know, nutrition, learn about the program. Um, and about the faith portion of our group. So I'm excited. Franchelle, she's from Vegas. At least the heat, but now I live in Orlando. Yeah, that, that Vegas heat is a different type of heat. <laughs> I remember I was in Vegas for my 18th birthday. Not sure why I chose to go to Vegas for my 18th birthday. Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I think that was more so on my, my mom's leaning, but um, it was like 115 degrees on my birthday. I, my birthday is in July. So it was 115 degrees on my birthday in Vegas. So, but it's a different type of heat. It's more so, it's not a humid heat like here. Here on this side of the, US, what is this, the East Coast? Um, well, we live in the Midwest. is like a humid heat and it's like a dry heat over on the West Coast. So glad you're doing a live. I don't have Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. I took a break and it turned into four plus years. <laughs> yeah, Regina, I never see you elsewhere. I only see you here on YouTube, which is okay, which is good. I'm thinking about doing these lives more often. I feel like I should do these lives more often. What do you guys think? Should we do like a weekly, a bi-weekly? Because it's, I mean, it's nothing like that I have to set up. Like I can just do them <laughs> instead of having to edit and stuff like that. So, and kind of my, my editing schedule has been off, of course. And then my posting schedule has been a little off too. I've been trying to get like at least two videos up for y'all a week, but it's been a struggle. <laughs> I love you too, Amanda. So um, I'm just not used to the mosquitoes. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Mosquitoes are no fun. <laughs> Do in three months and in your first, I'm nervous about labor, inspired me so much. Oh, thank you. Yes, uh, you're doing three months. Wow, um, it's your first baby. Labor was, I, I said, don't be nervous because what my midwives told me, you know, after afterwards, they were like, you, like my calmness is what, they say actually helped me in my labor, like how calm I was actually helped me through my labor. So don't be nervous, sis, you know, stay calm, um, you know, work on your breathing, you know, you know, the breathing that you're going to do during labor. Um, a good tip for my first labor that I remember to do on my second labor is my nurse, my labor and delivery nurse told me that I uh, to imagine like when I was, when I was coming off of a, or coming into a push to hold my breath, like, or coming into a contraction to hold my breath, let it go and then hold my breath again. And when I'm doing that push out. So, um, and it, it's kind of, she described it as holding your breath underwater, like holding your breath underwater and then pushing. And that helps so much, so much. So um, there's a little tip for you mamas out there who are about to push out some babies. Thank you. Thank you, Trina. Thank you so much. And my, what do you call that thing? Dishwasher is going off. Lansing, I'm from Detroit and I live in Alabama. Woo -woo. Um, I actually, my job is based out in Detroit, um, but I work from home. So, so pumped for the faith and fitness guru. Yes. Yes. Meet the teats. I'm pumped too. Um, I should be going to sleep right now because I want to wake up early and do my workout, but I decided to come on here because y'all, yeah, I still got a full bowl of oatmeal. Let me eat some. <laughs> Guess French out. I can't wait for you to join either. Can't wait. It's a good group. It's a really good group. Yeah. Vegas has that dry heat. The chat keeps bumping up and down. I think it's because you guys are, you guys keep uh, replying. I'm from Texas and we had 80 degree weather. It was awesome. 
Erica, yeah, Texas, it gets hot too. I've only been to Texas once and I, I wouldn't say that I was in, like I was in Texas, but I was just in the airport, like on a delay or something like that. So Krista said she's in her own room, but she always wakes up around 11 wanting to go in bed with us. Of course, I have to get up a million times to comfort. Oh, feed her. How old? How old is she, Krista? My baby is due next month. Woo, sweet tooth gang. Ooh, I got a sweet tooth, <laughs> which is why there is um, brown sugar in this oatmeal, because I have a sweet tooth. Y'all still talking about the weather. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mom. My mom is here. I miss you living in Ypsilanti. You mean at your house? <laughs> you miss me living in your home? Do you miss that? Just had baby number three last month. Congratulations, honey bun. I always labor extremely fast. Didn't make it inside. Oh my goodness. She delivered outside in the ER in her car. Girl, I thought I was going to do the same with Ava because I wasn't like I felt like a lot of pressure and when I got to like the trauma like the not trauma when I yeah what a not trauma I forget what it's called but when I got there they were like oh yeah you're ready to start pushing with Ava with um Sanai I kind of knew what to do to get there <laughs> Um, hey Tiff, four girls, hopefully four boy, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Tiff. Hello, silly mommy, silly mommy for life. That's me, I'm silly too. Hi, I have you, mom. <laughs> She's about to be one in August. The girl won't sleep by herself. Oh, I need to get on top of it. She's still nursing two times a night. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll be praying for you. <laughs> I'll be praying for you. When I got pregnant at um, eight months postpartum, Ava didn't really want anything to do with me. <laughs> so that's why we were able to wean so efficiently, I guess. Are you trying to wean? Or are you just, um, you do, or do you want to continue breastfeeding, uh, Krista? Oh, you don't miss me being at home, Mom? I did too. Regina. Mind you guys, I'm reading this without my glasses, so bear with me. <laughs> cutting, back on, cutting back on sweets is hard, which is why I just do balance with my sweets. Um, hashtag balance. Um, I do like an 80-20 with my meal plan, so if there's like if there's somewhere in my meal plan where I can incorporate a sweet and take out like a carb or something, that's what I'll do. Like this morning, I had eggs with my eggs with spinach and kale and strawberries. So those, that's protein, greens, with veggies and fruit. And then instead of toast, I had these little two little uh, cheesecake bites that Lido left me. So instead of toast, I had those two little cheesecake bites. Just thinking, you know, because if I, I'd rather eat those two little cheesecake bites instead of a whole thing of cheesecake bites or a whole cheesecake, because girl, your girl could do it. <laughs> um, yeah. You guys are chatting fast. My baby is due at the end of September, actually, three kids. Birthday in September. My new baby will be four. Baby's born in September. Well, we, well, count nine months before that, and <laughs> that's when you you're you know you can see uh, in the winter pretty well. It sounds like. Let's see. Anybody have some tips for Krista to wean? Wean night nursing weaning. Any tips for her? 
<laughs> I do miss you living in the area, <laughs> but I love living with just me and your dad. Duly noted. We're not coming back, so it's okay. <laughs> That's why it's like 24. Ooh, yeah. I, I really didn't have morning sickness uh, with either of my, just like nausea, but nothing like really bad. So I feel for you. Please would like to know what you have been drinking in your videos. Oh, on Instagram? Which, which videos? Because right now I'm trying to drink this water, but it's too plain for me. Because <laughs> I do drink, I have a couple of protein shakes that I drink as well as my inner, or my, what I call energize is my, my hype juice or, you know, my pre-workout. That's what I'm trying to get to, pre-workout. Yay. I love that you guys are talking it out with Krista so she can get some tips. Good night, Tiff. Tiff is faithful. I, I feel like she, she has the first comment each time on my videos. But yeah, like I said, I'm just eating, um, what is this, oatmeal. Um, I have a bowl a day and sometimes I forget to eat it. I either have this, the bowl of oatmeal, or I have my what you call it. Sometimes I'll eat my oatmeal earlier. So if I eat my oatmeal, eat my oatmeal earlier, I'll have a pro protein bar. Like it's like a little granola protein bar. I'll have that before bed because like I said, breastfeeding cravings, not necessarily cravings, but more so like I'm just hungry and I'll be hungry in the middle of the night. And who wants to get up in the middle of the night and come to the kitchen and, and start eating and start snacking? It's not a good idea. So I definitely need this snack before I go to bed. Y'all are probably wondering like, well, where is Lido right now? Lido is in bed. Y'all, Lido is probably knocked out by now. He, him and Ava are knocked out. <laughs> uh, and actually, Naya is knocked out too. So I'm the only one up in the house right now. I need to go to bed. <laughs> But I'm a night owl. I get it from my mama. Night nursing can be a struggle. Yeah. My baby's due August 10th with my first child. I'm not sure if I'm having Braxton Hills or real contractions. How were you able to tell? So in my first pregnancy, I wasn't really able to tell between the Braxton Hicks or in real contractions because I felt like I didn't really have the real contractions with Ava. They were more so like all I felt was a lot of pressure, you know, down below and not necessarily like um, a lot, not necessarily the crampy contractions. So what I would say is that Braxton Hicks, usually like you'll just feel like the tightening of your belly. You'll feel the tightening and sometimes you won't feel it. Um, but it's when your uterus is just tightening, it's preparing, it's like a practice contraction. But with the um, real contractions, breast and, breast and Hicks contractions are like sporadic and they don't, they don't have a rhythm. They don't have a pattern. Real contractions will have a pattern and they will intensify. So if your contractions have started off, you know, really like light and not really painful, but then they started to intensify or they are starting to intensify, then you're probably having real contractions if you're having that intensity. So definitely look for that. But if you're not really having any pain with it, um, then you're probably not having real contractions yet. But like I said, with my first one, I really didn't have real pain. So um, if you start feeling pressure or if you, if you feel your water break, you probably need to go to the hospital. <laughs> Breastfeeding 27 months. Wow. <laughs> wow 27 months I feel like I'm gonna try and go longer with with Ava or with Sanai I mean because with Ava Ava only met, made it eight months so 
Look at mom giving out tips. Regina, you looking for a protein powder that has no soy, GMO, no artificial sugars or fillers in gluten. Do you know of any? Hold on, because the protein, I have two protein powders. But y'all, I'm in shorts. I want y'all see my shorts. <laughs> Hold on, let me go get mine. Because I know that all, my the protein that I use is all natural. Um, but I know it's got some sugar in it. Um, and all mine are vegan, so. Uh, this one, I'm looking for the sugars, it has eight grams of sugar, it has eight grams of sugar, and that sugar, I believe, is from, if I can find it, it has so many ingredients, it's from cane, organic cane sugar, so that's what my protein is from, or protein has in it, and... It has a lot. This one is um, so it is soy free. Um, oh, here we go. It has no artificial sweeteners, flavors, colors, or preservatives. It's whole food based, and it has protein, fiber, omega threes. Um, it supports healthy energy and digestion. It curbs cravings and supports healthy weight loss. And I've been using this for two years now. Yeah, two years now I've been using um, this shake and my favorite flavor is Cafe Latte because Cafe Latte is bomb. It basically, it doesn't have the caffeine of coffee, but it tastes like coffee. Um, and it has the protein in it is pea, pea protein, flaxseed, quinoa, and rice protein. Um, it has maca in it. It has pomegranate, um, it has goji berries, uh, matcha green tea, spinach, kale, um, yeah, just a whole bunch of stuff. Um, it actually helps me with my digestion and getting my gut to where it needs to be. It, it balances my hormones. That's, the, that's one of the ones that I take. My post-workout protein um, is also plant-based. Um, it's a vegan protein, and this one helps just with muscle soreness. So if you're working out, um, this one helps muscle soreness. But this one, I'm not sure about the soy, but this one also has organic cane sugar in it and stevia. Does that one have stevia in it? Yeah, they both have stevia and organic cane sugar. So, um, but if you want to email me, Regina, um, let me know. I'll send you the links. For both of them. Um, love that y'all are giving tips. Yay. To Krista. Yeah, Meet the Teeth says that she uses the same protein and loves it. She has vanilla. She, well, her favorite is vanilla. Yeah, she has vanilla. I like to use vanilla if I'm going to do like a green smoothie. So I'll put like greens and berries in it, which Melissa, Meet the Teeth, is great at. My my green smoothie is becoming out brown, y'all. <laughs> so. <laughs> no problem, Regina. You notice when you work more like housework, your Braxton Hicks starts, yeah. Yeah, um, that happened with me too when I was doing a lot of um, just walking around or um, when I was cleaning and what do you call it, nesting. Um, whenever I would go up the stairs, my Braxton Hicks would start um, and they're just practice contractions. They always say, well, my midwife says that if they, like you're, if they start to lay down on your left side, Lay down on your left side, and if they don't subside, then they're probably starting like to. They'll probably start to be real contractions. But if they subside, then you know they were just Braxton Hicks. So, so 
stuffed animal or blankie get for comfort. Hey, butterfly shout too. My oatmeal is almost done, y'all. I cannot wait for the morning. When I wake up, me and my team are doing like this thing called, um, what did we call it? We we're calling it, uh, ah, no, I forgot, lit, something lit, um, where we basically, like, you know, on Instagram stories, if you've watched me on Instagram, you guys know, like, when I take my pre-workout, I like to put on music, mm -hmm. put on music on my Instagram story. And y'all have been loving my playlist, uh, my Insta story playlist so far. Some of you even asked, like, you know, do I have an actual playlist? And I don't. But this program, for this program, there's next 21 days um, for, for the month of August. I'm going to start posting, um, what do you call it, songs that we will be using during our pre-workout sessions. So get lit. Yes. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> Meet the teeth. She's in my, uh, she's actually on my team, uh, my coaching team. And so we are uh, doing something called get lit. And so basically when we're taking our pre-workout, uh, we'll be, you know, jamming out to whatever song it is for that day. So for example, um, we got like a lot of Lecrae this weekend or this week. It's like a hype playlist, a hype gospel playlist. So I think tomorrow morning's like I'm turned by Lecrae. So if you want to join us, you know, just tag me in your Insta story when you are drinking your coffee in the morning or taking any type of pre-workout that you use before a workout. I don't know if a lot of you have are into fitness like I am. Um, but yeah, if you would like to do that, then let me know. Um, just tag me. Um, the first song is I'm turned by Lecrae. So Get lit. Yes. Hi, Vanessa. Any TTC tips for initiating BD in the vertical window? Initiating? I guess that's just up to you and your hubby. <laughs> as far as like, I don't know. Um, I feel like men are always ready, y'all. That they, they don't really need they don't really need much to get going. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like as far as like, uh, what do you call it? Motivation. Um, they don't really need it. So as far as like tips for initiating, I, I feel like that would be like between you and him as far as like, uh, you know what your, you know, husband likes, right? So just do, I guess, like give him little hints throughout the day, maybe like a, like text or something. <laughs> I think when we when I had Sanai, I actually t I I told Lita I was like I said I said um my my CM is is pretty clear right now, and I was like, you sure you want to do this? <laughs> and he was he was like, yeah, let's go. What keeps you motivated to work out daily between a three, almost four year old and a month old? I'm pooped, especially with all the breastfeeding. Yes. So I, I guess I, my motivation is my babies. Like, and my motivation has changed over the years. Like when I first started working out, um, I wasn't consistent at all. I didn't really have the motivation to do so, but, um, my like initial, like when I first initially started to work out, I was like in a place where I guess this is when I had first like, you know, came to Jesus and started to uh, live like, a, like a more positive life, uh, more positive lifestyle, uh, because I dealt with like body image issues and dealt with like, um, you know, wanting attention from men and things like that. And so me going to the gym was like a way for me to kind of process that and try to get my mind back on caring for myself and caring for my mindset. And so that was my why then, like treating my body like it was supposed to be treated, right? 
um, you know, in creating healthy habits for myself instead of like drowning myself into like drowning myself with alcohol and things like that. So that was my why then. And then I got married or then I got, um, you know, into a relationship with Lido. And so, and of course he was fit and I wanted to be fit as well. Like I wanted to continue this journey and be fit for my wedding that I knew was coming in the next year, even before he ever proposed. <laughs> um, and then he proposed and I was like, okay, I got to get a personal trainer. I got a personal trainer when he proposed. <laughs> and then after that, after you know that I would start TTC and I was like well I gotta get fit for TTC so I just feel like I've had a lot of different whys as to why I stay motivated um to work out daily because I have I know my why and I know the reason behind what I do um and now being a health coach and having other women who are following me on my journey other women who look up to me and, and want to see like my posts daily. Like if I don't post, someone is in my DM saying, Hey sis, where are you? <laughs> and so, you know, I have um, just a greater calling. I feel like to work out daily and to just treat my body well. And um, I always think back to, I feel like it was, um, I feel like I posted a video on YouTube about this, but um, you know, no, the, you wouldn't want to live in a dirty house. Right. And I feel like that's how the Holy Spirit is. Like the Holy Spirit doesn't want to dwell in something that is unclean. That's something that is um, not treated well, right? And so that's how I, I look at my body and how I look at my journey as far as my faith and fitness go, that they're intertwined. And if I'm going to increase my faith, I also have to increase my health. So sorry about that. <laughs> A little tangent. My husband says if I offer him a cup of tea, he will accept. <laughs> I got you, Krista. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, it sounds like you need to just like see what he likes, and um, I'm sure you know what he likes as far as like different things, like romantic wise. And mom said TMI. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, mom. <laughs> Butterfly Shelton says she needs to do something. I'm doing one more baby, so I need to get my body together. Yes, sis. What was your first pregnancy symptoms having baby number two before noticing a period, miss period? My first pregnancy symptoms before having Sanar, before my miss period, I feel like I did a video. Um, I know I did a video. I think if I can add that, I'd have to try and remember. Um, I did have, um, uh, I, one I can think of right now is, uh, sore breast. I did not have that with Ava, but I did have that with Sinai and it was weird because I don't have that with periods. Like before my period comes, like I never had sore breast. So, um, oh, thank you. Meet the teeth. I agree with Regina. Keep trying different things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maka. Maka works, too. Men can take Maka, too. They actually use that in the Mayan, Mayan tribes. Uh, they use Maka for fertility and for um, to help um, with the strength of men in their tribes. Night, night, V. Girl, I need to go to bed too. <laughs> Got this little bit of oatmeal left. I can't believe like 40 of y'all stayed on with me tonight. Y'all, it's late for, well, it's not really that late. It's almost 11. Does Michael make you gain weight? Like, I feel like there's a misconception with stuff that makes you gain weight. I feel like it could give you, like, you know how, like, they say, well, oh, um, birth control makes you gain weight. This could be true, 
Um, and, and I know they say when, when you're on birth control, like your appetite changes and that's why you gain weight. But the thing is, it, it, your appetite changes um, and you gain weight because your hormones are off balance when you start it. So like when I was on maca, I didn't see, I didn't really see a fluctuation in weight. But when I did start it, I made sure that I tapered it. So I started off with a lower dose of maca, like like a tea, like a teaspoon of it. Um, a teaspoon, like if you're taking like the raw like maca, like the powder with like is not like in anything else. Like I have, there's maca in here, and I've been taking this for almost two years now. Um, so there's maca in my like superfood shake, but like if you're just taking like the pure maca with like it's not in anything. I started with a like a tea like like less than a teaspoon or something or like a third of the serving that it says to take um, and then I slowly increased it and the thing is you won't see um, like complete changes in your hormones when you first start something so um, I always recommend to my clients like my fertility clients that they, when they start something to make to give it three months because one egg quality takes three months to mature and then two with anything like even fitness related or faith related, like you have to give it time in order to kind of level up in your in um, balance in your hormones um, in order for you to see any type of change. So getting back to the question, like, does it actually make you gain weight? I say, I'm gonna say it, it can because it just depends on how you take it one and then how your hormones react to it. Everybody's hormones are different, so. And let me go back up. Let's see. Look at mom giving giving romantic advice. <laughs> me and my mom are really close, y'all. <laughs> Meet the teeth says I have a coaching question. Shoot, go for it. Um, recent starting mocking in my smoothies and encourage Shelby to put it in this protein shakes. Yeah, I feel it's too woo woo, yeah. Go ahead and make him some protein maca balls. Make those little like uh, protein balls <laughs> that he can eat. <laughs> yeah, I've seen videos that it, it helped with weight gain. I have seen those as well. Um, like people taking maca to um, gain weight. But um, like I said, everybody's hormones are different. And it depends on the dosage that you're taking. Because I definitely noticed the difference when I was taking maca, like just straight maca. And for me, it was a, like a, I guess a negative difference. Like I like taking maca. I feel like it was starting to balance my hormones, but I felt, I felt off for some reason taking it as well. So um, I feel like there's a healthy balance in my shake right now of it. And it's not so strong, I guess. Picnic in your bedroom. <laughs> I'm 37 weeks and over it, girl. Been there. Please send prayers. I don't want to induce, but I'm so, so miserable. Yep, been there. Yeah, 37 weeks. Um, and just everything is overcrowded. <laughs> and you just want to evict the baby. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> it's time for you to go. I've been super moody and since starting maca, yep. Yep. I mean, it messes with your hormones and it, it balances out eventually. And that's why I say give it three months. Um, but, um, you know, with anything that you take uh, that will affect your hormones, you want to make sure that you're giving it an ample amount of time to to kind of balance out and work for you, work in your favor. Uh, because just like with birth control, like I'm like I said earlier, with birth control, when you first start birth control, you you see like immediate like different effect, like how it affects you, right? Um, and that's just like with any other like fertility or hormone based um, herbal med or anything like that. So, um, start back with maca powder. I'm putting this in my apple sauce because it had an earthy taste. Yeah, I did it with a um, I did mine in a shake. Yep, hang in there, the green mama. No, 
problem, Regina. Yeah, I like um, I like explaining and um, I like sharing my experience based on you know what I've done. And I actually I've told like two people. Well, not more than two. I've I'll probably told like five people. Now I'm about to tell like 34 people right now, but I am um, going to be doing a certification in fertility doula. And so I'm looking forward to that next month and I will have more and more to share with you all. So can someone get three months of, can someone get three months of, BOD, which is Beach Body on Demand and MBF, the new program? Um, actually, no. So the for MBF, you can only get the, the year plan right now. It might be different when it opens up to customers. But for now, um, it is just the... She was talking about the new program that we're doing on our workouts. Um, MBF is Muscle Burns Fat. Uh, and actually for our group, it is called Muscle Building Faith. <laughs> and so she's talking about like she had a question if she can just get three months of it, um, of the workouts. And the answer is no, not right now. Actually, you have to, it would be the, it, it would actually be even cheaper to get the year package anyways. So um, you get the workouts for a whole year. Um, and if you do sign up for the year package, you actually get access to my challenge groups, my faith challenges for life. So if you sign up for that package, you get access to my challenge groups for life. If you only get if you only get the three month package, you only get access to my challenge groups for the next three months. So um, it's just more value in it, in getting it for the year. And I think with the three month one, it's probably like twenty dollars cheaper. Um, so it's worth it just to get the whole year. I wonder if you add maca powder to baked goods, if it takes away from the effect, if it takes weird, but might be worth looking into. Yeah, I was, yeah, it could. Baking it, it, baking it could take away from the properties. I know there is some, um, there's some recipes like the, for like protein balls, like non-baked, like they use like peanut butter and things. Oh, yay. Carita, is it Carietta or Carita? Did I say it? I feel like I said it right the first time. Carietta. She has a passion for helping moms. That's amazing. Do you think kiwi pineapple works for natural induction? I haven't heard of kiwi. Pineapple I've heard of, but I haven't heard really like great success stories with pineapple. But kiwi, I'm not sure. I've, I've never heard of kiwi. Yay, Krista, your full spectrum doula. I'm looking for um, other doulas and to get like their um, insight on the market and the, um, you know, the business. So DM me if you're on Instagram, DM me or send me an email. I'd love to talk with you. Go. Become a certified lactation consultant, yes, and postpartum doula. Yay, all these doulas on here. That's amazing. You ladies are amazing. Going to bed. <laughs> yeah. Good night, Regina. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Florence. What can you do to increase milk supply while losing weight? So I actually, for increasing milk supply, I always, always recommend, like if you are currently breastfeeding, I'm not sure if you're like exclusively breastfeeding or exclusively pumping or both, um, is to put that baby on the breast. <laughs> baby is the best pump. And also your, I, I described this in the Haka video, the video I did about the Hakas, your, um, your body will create more milk if it feels that it needs to, right? And so that's why I put the haka on one side and sanai on the other because it tells my baby, or not my baby, it tells my body that, hey, I think there's two babies, you know, because she's, she's like creating suction on this side 
and she's getting, you know, a baby is, you know, suckling on the other side. So emptying your breasts fully, that's why they uh, recommend power pumping because it empties your breasts. So emptying your breasts fully will kind of signify to your mind that, or signify to your body that it needs to create more milk. So that's like my number one trip, uh, tip in increasing milk supply is just to um, empty your breasts as well as put that baby on every two hours during the day, if you can. Mm. Yep, sneaking Kiki, I've had the baby. Yes, I have. Carita. Carita. Oh, okay. I was saying Carietta or something like that. Carita, okay. <laughs> We tried everything and it didn't work. <laughs> Krista, I'm not going to bed. Girl, I'm over here sweating. And I might be drinking my water, all of my water before we go to bed. <laughs> when I get pregnant, I will be flying you to Dallas to help me deliver my baby. <laughs> yes, we, remember, we've you guys need to set up our um, our spare bedroom and two cribs <laughs> at your house, meet the teats. <laughs> Bye, Trina. Honey bun, I love my haka. I love it so much. Yeah, I love it. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad my friend told me about the haka with both my babies. Dula Shani International. You can see a sponsorship as a person of color. No, oh, nice. Yeah, I was thinking about doing a full spectrum, um, being a full spectrum doula, but my heart really is infertility. So um, I think I feel like if I choose, like if I want to do um, full spectrum in the future, I probably will just go ahead and do it. But um, I actually worked as an intern during nursing school for the doula company and. Um, at the school I was at. And so I really liked it. I did their fundraising. I was on their fundraising committee. So I helped them with their various fundraising events. They actually um, service like low income um, mothers who needed support and didn't have it. So it really has been on my heart to do this for a very long time. I actually wanted to be a midwife and I still, you know, could do that in the future. But for now, you girl is just trying to pay off some loans. <laughs> And I actually, I've, um, we've had, we got two big bills left, y'all, not including the house. We got two big bills left. And actually the, the, the second one, like the one we're working on right now to pay off, it's not that big. And I think we'll be done with it by this, the end of this year. But that last one, that, that, uh, student loan that I got, it's just a whole nother story. It's a whole nother beast. Um, <laughs> all the trainings are online. I think the next one starts in August. Okay, yeah, nice. I um, my training is online too, but yeah, I'm thinking about doing that in the future for being a doula. Yes, sneaking Kiki, you gotta catch up. She is now uh five weeks old. Any tips for keeping up milk supply? Uh, yeah, so if baby starts to sleep through the night, make sure, and a lot of you have asked me this on Instagram, like, oh, my, my supply is decreasing. Um, and I'm no lactation consultant, so this is just from experience. You know, when Ava started to sleep through the night, I had to pump at least once during the night so my body, you know, could still, you know, continue to keep up the supply. So, yeah. My tip is to, you probably will still need that 3 a.m. pump session. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and then having, making sure you're getting enough calories. So uh, if they didn't tell you at the hospital, breastfeeding mamas need at least 500 more calories. I actually, I have a system that I use and I'm actually getting certified in something else, um, certified in nutrition. I am a, I've had a fitness specialist nutrition um, certification in the past, but it kind of lapsed and I didn't renew it. But 
I'm also getting certified soon in the um, nutrition programs that we use in my fit, faith and fit groups. So I help women with their nutrition planning there and as far as breastfeeding as well. So um, we go based on like our macros and how many calories we need per um, based on, you know, breastfeeding, based on um, our weight and based on if we want to lose weight, maintain weight or gain weight. So um, I help my ladies with that. So um, definitely staying, making sure you're having, getting enough calories is important as well. I'm eating about 21 to 2200 calories right now um, with working out. And I think I might increase it, but we'll see depending on how my progress goes and how my supply is. My supply has been really good, so. Bye, Krista. Yeah, you better get some sleep while you can, sis. I'll be praying for you. Everybody pray for Krista and pray that her baby sleeps through the night in her own bed. <laughs> My skin is so gorgeous, girl. Thank you. I broke. I, I have broken out down here, but we're not gonna talk about that. But thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, any marriage advice tonight? Uh, just depends. What kind of marriage advice? I've only been married. Oh, August is coming up. So our anniversary is August twenty seventh, and we will be four years. So. I'm not sure if you want to take marriage advice from a newbie of four years married, but, you know, let me know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I would love to be debt free. Girl, we got a long way to go. How much, if you don't mind me asking, how much did you pay off? Like, like how much was your debt? If you don't mind asking. Obviously, dropping gems. I love dropping gems, y'all. Hey, Virginia. I love dropping gems. I can give you newbie marriage advice, but I don't know how, how, uh, August 26th, three years strong. Yeah. We're in the same newbie boat. The, I feel like we're still on the, um, what do you call it? The honeymoon stage. And I feel like I want to be in honey, that I want to be in the honeymoon stage for life because <laughs> it's awesome. It's amazing. Yes. Lord touch Krista right now in the name of Jesus. Girl, I need to go to sleep too. <laughs> Y'all get me pumped. Y'all get me excited. I'm looking over at nine to make sure she's still asleep. Let me put my glasses on. Cause she ain't made a sound, ain't made a peep, but she over there like, like moving. She's still asleep though. Mom is 30 years strong. Almost. Almost 30 years in October. Amen. I receive that in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. October 13th, two years. Look at all these newbies. <laughs> Do you like having your girls close in age? I think it's wonderful. My siblings and I are four years apart, and that's not great. Yeah, I so far. Okay, I really can't speak on it. It's only been a month, <laughs> but so far, so good. I feel like when they grow up, they will be like best friends, hopefully. Um, and I feel like they, they'll they be able to, put, like they'll have someone to play with always. And there's not a lot of kids like on our block, like not a lot of young kids on our block. Um, there's maybe like one little girl on our block. She's like five or six. So I think it'll be good for, good for um, both of them to have each other but the little girl on our block she loves Ava and she she just wants to pick her up all the time and Ava just want to run around in circles so <laughs> 15,000 in student loans in the last couple of years Ooh, 15 we've paid off as of like May or May was it May I think it May we paid off like my, my goal was to pay off at least 15,000 in debt for the year but let me tell you about my god <laughs> we paid off 16 by may and i was like okay lord <laughs> thank you and it was just like it wasn't even like a it was a lot of 
you know, us doing like the baby steps. We do the whole Dave Ramsey, like baby steps um, and just putting whatever money, like mom, my mom says there's no such thing as extra money, but we've had extra money just out of nowhere come from the Lord. And we put that towards our debt. So that's the extra money right there. Money that you didn't even know like existed, like that, that wasn't even going to, you know, wasn't like in your radar to be coming to your bank account. <laughs> Like that is that is God. <laughs> we paid off his car in 2018 in my last year. I think maybe 20,000 in the last year, two years. I have an incredible husband and the grace of God, nearly $5,000 medical bills. Girl, I'm surpassing you, but <laughs> but that's a lot. That's a lot to pay off. That's good. We paid off. Um, we paid off both our cars. Um, we paid off his car. Was it last year or the year before? And then. My car just got paid off at the beginning of this year. That was a goal of mine, um, a goal of ours, to pay off um, my car. And we also paid off like two other credit cards. So we're working on one credit card. Um, that's like less than 10000 right now. I don't mind sharing. But the student loan right now, y'all, my student loans were in the six figures. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> And so, but we're no longer in the six figures. How about that? <laughs> How about, like, thank you, Lord. <laughs> I follow Dave Ramsey as well. Yeah, I, I'm i I'm like one of those Dave Ramsey nerds where I'll sit and I'll watch his live, like his live YouTube, like his YouTube live. I will sit there and watch the whole thing. And I cry, I cry. I don't know if it's the pregnancy or what, but I cry when people do their debt-free screen. That's me. Anybody else? <laughs> I need to verify these amounts with Bay. That is me, <laughs> Karita. I do the same thing. Like I don't know the amounts. I know I know estimates. <laughs> yes, debt cancellation in the name of Jesus. We yeah we've been tied we've tied on all all of it everything that's been coming through, um, and the Lord has truly been blessing us. I don't know if y'all I I know some of y'all aren't on Instagram, but I posted on Instagram recently. I just received my first paycheck for maternity leave. I don't know if y'all can hear the irateness in my voice, but I just received my first maternity leave paycheck. And I go back to work next week, <laughs> y'all. We have been living without my nursing pay, which is like a, a good portion of our income for you know the past month or so. But once again, let me tell you about my God. This coaching income has been such a blessing to both my like the household and my sanity. <laughs> Um, you know, we didn't have to worry about mortgage. We didn't have to worry, you know, about paying bills late or anything like that. And the Lord has truly been blessing us this year. Although 2020 has been rough for a lot of us, um, us included, because, you know, Lito, he's a personal trainer and he couldn't work for a bit. But in that, he was able to stay at home, be a stay at home dad with Ava for a bit. And he loves it. He misses it so much. But he had to go back to work because here I am sitting here with no maternity leave. <laughs> I could not do the envelope system. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I tried it. We tried to put some, I can't carry cash. <laughs> I tried to put it in the envelope and didn't work. The only, the only, I do use the envelope system now though for vacation. So when we are planning a vacation, I do the envelope system. I'll put money in um, the envelope and save it like money for uh, like gas for what do you call it? Like if we're taking a road trip, I put money aside for gas, money aside for food, money aside for, you know, things like that. Like, but I can't do the envelope system for budget at all. We tied off of that severance pay and the rest of it went to paying off debt. So once that was done, all we had was like 12 K nice student loans probably near 20k in two years that's good that's really good 20k in two years y'all are killing it 
Well, you killed it because y'all are debt free. That's nice. And Honey Bun, yes, Dave Ramsey is my jam. He definitely changed the way I look at finances. I've heard of the fire movement. I have. Um, but I feel like the fire movement is after you are debt free, right, Coco, Paulette? Like the fire movement, you do that after you're debt free? Because I am trying to retire early. <laughs> yeah, that layoff was a miracle and answer to, to prayer. It's a really place in a better position financially, definitely, and allowed um, him to get out of a stressful job environment. That's good. Our steps have been ordered by God. Thank you, Lord. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, I got one paycheck. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the rest. <laughs> but thank you, Lord, for what we did get, right? I haven't take I I didn't take financial peace. I did the 14 day trial of financial peace. Um, but I probably should have taken we probably should take it, but I feel like we have a lot of the um a lot of the ba like the basis basics down pat, I guess. I'll have to talk to you more about that, Melissa. Meet the deets. Yeah, we did we do the snowball method as well. We do the snowball method. I've created a Google like sheets for our budget um, that Lido uses more so than I do now. Um, and I also have a budget sheet for my businesses because I have like, well now, right now I have like maybe like five or six streams of income. Um, and I got like four streams. Let's call them streams because they flow they flow, right? And then like one trickle of an income, you know what I mean? Like it's not monthly, but it's, you know, it's still coming. <laughs> um, but I have a sheet, a spreadsheet for that as well to keep track of that as well as to keep track of like, um, it keeps track of my quarterly, you know, what I'm making quarterly, what I'm making in my business um, monthly, um, you know, what's making more, uh, and, you know, all of that good stuff. So staying on track and in, in, in tracking all of that has helped me a lot. Oh, okay. Coco Paula, you can do them simultaneously. Okay, cool. I'm gonna have to look into that. God is a miracle worker. Yes, he is. Team save. Yay. That's girl, I was more than 20k in debt when we first got <laughs> But that's amazing. I wish, I wish y'all I only had 20k in debt. I wish that I would have went to a college that was more affordable. <laughs> but shout out to y'all for not being as in debt as I am. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all are amazing. Hey, Mo, what are those streams? Any ideas for you all? Yeah, so I have YouTube um, and these, like the streams I mentioned are not including my nursing job, which, you know, is just a given. Well, it used to be just a given until they decided not to pay me my maternity leave. Yes, I'm salty, but um, it's like in, all my streams are like, excluding my nursing job it's just like my side hustles so um i'm gonna up in like seven minutes it's almost 11 30 y'all <laughs> and i gotta feed it i gotta feed now again but um what do you call it so my seven stream or my not seven i don't have seven anymore because i got rid of one that wasn't it was just trickling it wasn't doing much um but i have what did i say youtube um, and actually, uh, I have Beachbody. I'll say Beachbody first because it brings the most. Um, so I'm a Beachbody coach. And that one brings more side income than any of my other um, income, including YouTube. So um, Beachbody and then YouTube, um, you know, my YouTube channel. Uh, after YouTube, I would say ShareSell, which is like my affiliate income. Um 
So affiliate income. That's my blog is is kind of my blog is inside of the YouTube income because I use Google AdSense for my ads on my website. Um, so that's all tied into like the YouTube slash Google. Um, Amazon, Amazon affiliate, and I feel like I'm missing. I'm missing a couple, y'all. Oh, uh, clients. So one-on-one -on -one clients. I do consultations um, for business um, as far as like um, starting like a website and things like that. Um, and also fertility. Um, oh, and my Fertile Faith courses. So I have course uh, courses on my website so i have uh, the best fertility diet um and uh, well it's called the fertility diet that changed my life so that is on my course website as well as fertile faith in five uh, which is five steps to increasing your fertility and your faith um and that is also on my website so um that is a different stream of income. So my course website is a different stream of income. And I think, I think that's it. I think I named them all. My, as far as like ideas, I feel like I have um, a blog post about it as well, but um, I'm all about like mamas and women starting their own businesses and building, you know, multiple streams of income mainly because I've been doing building multiple streams of income for the past like year. So now I have like five or six. So I've been doing this for like a year now. Um, well, like maybe like almost two years now. Um, and so I'm all about helping mamas do the same thing, getting them coins, paying off debt. Um, I really don't talk about it a lot, but um, I'm starting, I'm, I think I'm thinking about starting to do that more often helping you all with uh, getting out of debt and things like that. How do I turn on Super Chat? What is Super Chat? Let me know, y'all. <laughs> I no, I'm looking around. I don't see no Super Chat, but I'll have to look into that. Finally catching you live. Hi, Naturally Brown 13. Hey, girl. Cooper DTV. Hola. Hola, hola. Micah. Hola. The bigger the mountain, the harder it will fall. <laughs> Check out our rich journey in rich and regular. Let me write that down or screenshot it. Where's my phone? I'm just going to screenshot it so that I don't forget. Because I will. So I can check it out later. I'll be able to financially return. I'm still very young. Yay. That's amazing. It's not easy, but it's possible. Definitely. Any, with any, it's not easy. And that's okay. A lot of things aren't easy, but it's definitely worth it in the end, right? It requires a lot of discipline and faith. And that's what I tell my faith, my faith and fit girls. Like this, it requires consistency, discipline. And that's why we're incorporating faith in this group, because that's what it'll take to get to our goals, right? <laughs> yes, another sister in Christ. I was discouraged for a while because I felt to find community anywhere. Now I'm a Christian woman book club. Yay, that I started. That's amazing. That's good. What book are you guys currently reading right now? I would be interested to know. Girl, I'm starting to try and get to read more. I'm not I read a lot of like personal development. I just finished um, Eat That Frog, uh, which is about procrastination because I have issues with that. Natasia, hey Natasia and Tunaja. Um, yeah, I have uh, issues with procrastination. So that's why I need to read that book, Eat That Frog. But I need some other book suggestions. It's in your page settings. You can get it from YouTube Studio. Gotcha. Click the monetization tab on the left side and click on Super Chats. So what does Super Chats do? Let me know. I'd be interested to know. I wonder if I can do that from my phone. Because I have a YouTube Studio on my phone. Probably not. Probably not. Oh, it's another way to get coins. <laughs> 
See, I'm learning every day. And that's what this process is about. This process is called life. You just learn every day, right, y'all? Hey, Mary. Wonder if I can let's see if I can even access my that looks clear. I wish I could like share my screen here. Can you share your screen on Super Chat? Let me know. Y'all give me the give me the tea on what Super Chat actually does for me. For me. What I can do. Um, I'm looking forward to, I don't know if you all are on our Bible study group, but our Bible study group is going to be going live via Zoom on Wednesday. I forgot like to even mention that, that um, we're going live on Wednesday um, for the Bible study group. So I'm excited. <laughs> Melissa, I know. So, well, that's sad. I like, I like sharing my screen. You know that, Melissa. I like to show, I like to show things, what goes on in my little world. Oh, uh, thank you, Coco. Coco Palette. Yeah, I'm talking real freestyle right now. Dropping gems and bars, right? <laughs> oh, I did not know that. I feel like I did know that, but I didn't know that I had that ability, I guess, to to have super chat and get donations. That's nice. What happens when women walk in faith? I'm personally reading Atomic Habit that I've I've read Atomic Habit. I like that book. Yes. I've read a lot of habit books in the past year. So um, and which have helped me be more consistent in my life. So definitely like that one. Thank you, Mo. Just look at Mo looking out for me. Most of my income on YouTube has been from Super Chats. Really interesting, girl. Now I'm looking at it. <laughs> I'm looking through my... Y'all, if y'all are YouTubers, how many of y'all are YouTubers? Let me know. Um, because I would love to give like tips and tricks and stuff. Obviously I know nothing about super chats, but I do know a lot of things about like analytics and stuff. I like to analyze my analytics. Is that a thing? Analyze your analytics. I also like Google analytics. Um, Google analytics is how I'm kind of building like my, my website views as well. Well, how sweet are you, Mo? Now I need to figure this out because apparently I'm missing on coins from Mo and, and Meet the Teats. <laughs> but yeah, I probably need to go to bed soon, y'all. Do y'all have any more questions for me? Any questions? Because I love answering y'all's questions. No, I'm not from the South. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like this. YouTuber here. I'm a mommy vlogger as well. Yay. I'm a new YouTube, having a hard time. Have my views and subscribers. I want to be a tuber. Yes. Too bashful. No such thing. Like, y'all, I would love to see a video on tips, please. Um, yeah. So I'm not very sociable. Sociable. Is that a word? In person. If that, if that, well, my husband says that I am, but I, I don't feel like I'm not like the first person to like, to say like something I'm getting used to it, like getting used to do, being that person. But I never was that like, well, after becoming saved and kind of more reserved, I was never like that person to like be the first to speak up or anything like that. 
Um, YouTube has definitely got me out of, my, out of my comfort zone. I've been doing this for a couple of years now. Um, so, but yeah, mommy bloggers, yay. Um, and as far as like views, I have been using like hashtags. Make sure you're using hashtags in your description. Not just in like the YouTube would give you a spot for hashtags. Like, you know, like to put your hashtags. Um, I forget what the spot is called. I'm pretty sure it's called like uh, keywords. They give you a spot for keywords. But also putting those same keywords in your description helps. And that first like line of your description, making sure that that first line of your description is kind of like a um, where you're incorporating your title. So, and you want to make sure your title, well, the title has keywords in it too. So instead of saying like something like, so say your video is about you giving birth, okay? Um, instead of saying like, instead of for me saying like, oh, this happened so quick and that's my title, like this happened so quick, that's not gonna get, that's not gonna rank in views because no one is searching this happened so quick, right? They're searching birth vlogs or quick labor and delivery or emotional labor and delivery vlog or um, you know emotional birth vlog. That's why you see people like many, like a lot of whole bunch of people have those types of um, titles because that's what people are searching for, right? And so you want to put in your titles, you know, keywords. And that's why I used 14 minute labor. <laughs> and then in my, you know, it said like labor or birth blog or something like that with surprise gender, because that was like another keyword to use. Um, and then the first, in the first um, in the first line of your description, you also want to put those you know keywords in the first line of your description. So, um, like my last video was Ava's curly hair routine or something like that. And so, in the first line of my description, I would naturally incorporate the keywords in there, saying like, "Hey, here's a video of my toddler's curly hair routine. You know, check out." me doing Ava's hair one day or something like that. So I'm incorporating those keywords in that first line, the description of my video. And I found that that helps. And look at me, I'm, I was trying to share my screen with y'all, but I find that that helps because now if I search for some of my videos, some of my videos rank um, higher up now. Like if I search, um, if I search like, fertility prayer my video is ranking in the fertility prayer like like that first uh screen of video so yeah keywords are very essential yes they are i use tubebuddy yep i use tubebuddy too i actually have like the free like version right now i think it'll charge me sooner or later <laughs> not easy to but I take small life videos on my phone yay night night Night, night, naturally brown. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, I like to, buddy. Yep, hashtags, keywords, and to, buddy. And Google, you know, if there's a video that you are thinking about posting, go to Google. And you know how Google will tell you like if you type, if you type in like, I don't know, um, day in the life of a mom or something like that on Google, um, you know how it'll ask like different questions. Um, like Google will have like those little question bars. Use those question bars as for your keywords too. Like it'll say like, what does a day in the life of a mom look like? Or because these are those question bars are things people are actually searching for. And of course, we know Google and YouTube are the same company. So use Google. Yay! Yes, Nike. Nike, right? Um, her husband is currently deployed and he will be home soon. So she can TTC. I'm so excited for her. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! That's exciting. That is super exciting.
Ooh, I'm hot, y'all. All right. Mama needs to go to bed, right? Mama needs to go to bed, and Mama needs to turn on Super Chat for next time. Okay. How often should I do these lives, y'all? It's been an hour, 25 minutes. I'm not saving these lives. <laughs> this is a long live. Maybe I won't save this one. Maybe I'll save other ones, but I'm trying to figure out how often I should do these. Maybe once or maybe even twice a week. But let me know. I'd be interested in doing them. As always, if you're interested in joining my Faith and Fit group, I'm going to just put it out there again. <laughs> let me know. The link is in the description. Check out the, um, if you go to the link in the description, check out, I am um, taking on new coaches, like new coach mentorships. So if you want to do like health and fitness coaching and you have a, you know, you have a passion for helping others and have a passion for helping other women, you know, hit their goals and whatnot. I am doing um, mentorship right now. But if you go to the workout with me, there are transformations listed in the workout with me application. And let me tell you, these ladies are amazing. Their transformations are on point. <laughs> Meet the teeth said, don't delete it. Okay, I won't. We got real in this, in this chat though. Maybe I will keep, or yeah, in this little chat, I will keep it. Um, once a week, I'm thinking once a week, a short one, right? <laughs> Not an hour and 30 minutes. Yeah, maybe I'll do some um, some tips on YouTube. I feel like I'm not, I'm, I'm still learning YouTube, but I feel like I know enough for a new YouTuber, I guess. You know what I mean? Like I'm still like learning a lot from YouTube, but I do know enough to get started, right? Live once a week. So TMI, how long did it take for Ladybug to come back after having Ava? Ladybug, I've never heard that term before. Um, I got thank you, Meet the Teeth. Yeah, I got um I got my period. I'm, I'm assuming you mean your my period, but I got her two months after. I'm surely hoping that it doesn't come back that quick with Sanai, but it was two months after um, Ava came. So once a week for 30 minutes. I'm loving these tips. Thank you, Meet the Teats. Ooh, excuse me. So y'all, it's 11.42. Big girl needs to get in bed. Um, but this is like the usual time I go to bed anyways. And yeah, I still wake up at like five or six in the morning. So, um, but baby girl, I'm about to, even if she don't want to wake her up and feed her before we go to bed. Cause then she'll wake up around, she'll wake up around maybe three or four. So I'll get a solid like three or four hours of sleep before I have to wake up again. So I will talk to you guys in another video. <laughs> good night, good night, good night. And thank you for joining me tonight. I have fun chatting with you all. And I'm I'm looking forward to doing this next week. So maybe, maybe on Sunday, maybe Sunday nights. It's looking like the thing. So we'll see. Um, but I will talk to you guys later. Bye.